Hello YouTube, this is Fraza and today I'll be showing you how to make uh, tables on Roblox um, using typing and also how to give a player a random uh, thingy well, for this I'll be using elements but you could use it for a number of things uh, when they join and save and load it um, I'm not going to pretend this is easy or anything um, even I have a lot of trouble with this sometimes, it's a very tricky. Um, I have a cold so please bear with me. Um, I have tested this and it works, although it took me three tries typing it up because I kept making careless mistakes. <laughs> the real kicker is the main mistake was that um, I wasn't giving it a parent. <laughs> so um, the rest of the script worked perfectly but um, I wasn't parenting it to the player. Anyway, this will be uh, a script in workspace. So insert object script and put it in workspace and I'm naming it preparations but the name doesn't matter at all, it's just so I don't delete it by accident. Or you won't delete it by accident if you name it right. And uh, the function will be player added so you'll want to write uh, function, function name and then um, tag the players, whatever you want to call it. Personally I like player because it's not confusing and I missed it. Um, player, new player, whatever you want to call it. And um, game.players that player added connect on player added. Uh, this may dif um, differ depending on your function name but my function is named on player added so yeah. And uh, this connects player added when a player joins the game. Um, and we can refer to them using player. As usual, player, wait for it already, so that uh, when the player joins, uh, it won't try and run the script instantly, it will wait for their data and all that to load first so that the script won't break. And uh, first we'll want to make a string value, so instance.new string value and parent it to the player. We'll be naming the string value checker or element, and this is a real and um, the value for it will hopefully by the end of it be the player's element and uh, will appear oh, better paid into it right like this in every player with the random element when they join so this is the goal to give them a random element out of a table of five elements between water, fire, earth, wind and lightning. And uh, save this to their player and then when they come back to the game it will create the string value again and uh, load their element into the value. With that having been said, let's move on. Here is uh, the main bulk of it. If player load string chakra is not equal to nothing, then we activate this. This is like uh, one line because um, this assumes that uh, the player's element was already decided the last time and first time they arrived at the game, and all this does is changes the new string value to um, the number loaded as chakra, which has been saved the last time, uh, which will be down here. So not only will we be calling this chakra, we'll also be saving the value as chakra. So the string value and the value of the string value will both be called chakra. Don't let that confuse you please. I'm actually doing this to be make it less confusing, but uh, yes. And um, else, the else is the main bulk. This assumes that uh, the player doesn't have a chakra load string and uh, the chakra value is empty so we'll need the chakra and this is where the table comes into play to start off a table you uh, just uh, give it a name like table and then uh, equals and then you put to a closing bracket squiggly bracket and a closing um, squiggly bracket to get this you usually hold down shift and uh, press the bracket buttons um, tables don't need to be limited to strings though, you can do it like this, a uh, free potato workspace dot part uh, 
as you can see, this includes a number, a string, a reference to a part in workspace, and another string, which can all be searched for in a table, like so. Okay, that was a bad number to use, so <laughs> and I just happened to type it twice, so I don't want to confuse you. Uh, anyway, um, I'll show you how to search the table and such down below. <laughs> what bad luck though, I got to show you how to search the table and the... Uh, anyway, uh, okay. What this does is it picks a random number between 1 and the number of elements. As you may know, this hash key here means number, and elements is the name of the table, so the number of elements is 5, because we have war, fire, lightning, wind, and earth, which is 5 entries into the table. And um, player.jacketed value is uh, this inside the player, because we paired it to the player. And the value will be the element. So elements i is a uh, Okay, for example, let's say i is 3, because it has to be a number between 1 and 5. If i is 3, then it will search the table of elements for 3. And this isn't a number 3, um, this is the third entry. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can use find first child if you want the specifics of like maybe find first child lightning or whatever. Um, but this will search for the third entry, not the number three. <laughs> oh man. Um, save string. I've covered this before, but I shall do it again. To save um, a string to a player, this is how it's done. Player, because we've tagged the player, um, then double bracket, double dots, semicolon, I don't know what it's called. Uh, save string. And then the, it's two arguments. The first of the arguments um, is called chakra, as we've named it above. Um, no, that's not really that, but still. Um, we're just calling it chakra, it's just a name. Um, as long as we load and save it as the same thing, it doesn't matter what we call it. As long as you remember these are, these two are the same things. And the value is, a, this is the value of chakra. So it's chakra's chakra. And um, so we'll be saving the value of chakra as chakra, and then loading it later into the chakra value. It may be confusing, but uh, if you look at it long enough, you'll get your head around it. And this is pointless, but uh, it will show you that your code has worked. Um, although I have an alternate method for that, um, but it's still handy. So message equals instance.new, message in the first argument. Um, which is the name of the instance, and uh, <coughs> it pairs it to workspace. The text will be the value of the chakra, which will be water, fire, lightning, wind, or earth. And game.debrief add item message in 10 seconds. This will add, well, this will remove the message in 10 seconds, as the first argument is message, the message, and 10 is the amount of seconds until it removes itself. And game.debpriest is kind of like a bin, per se. Um, I have uh, altered the fireball from the last uh, tutorials into five different elements of fireballs. <laughs> Although I already tested my script and um, it just so happened I got fire, so the first time I arrived it said fire is the message. And then when I went in I was given fire. Which is bad luck, because uh, <laughs> that's exactly what it was <laughs> before, so... Um, it makes it look like nothing in the game's changed, so I will log in as a guest and uh, show you it. <laughs> and um, you might want to do the same thing. If you have your um, key down scripts over here, in your lighting folder, you can check the player's uh, element value and um, give them the according tools and such. Well, not tools, not hopper bins, but 
Why do they even call that? So they're not tools or hopper bins, but the according scripts. Um. So yeah, puts it in the backpack. Let's test this. I hope to god nobody is in the server because that will get in the way. Oh yeah, I made this friends only, didn't I? I'll have to log in. Okay. Can it have been noticed that the game has about 10 more plays since I started making this tutorial? Which worries me significantly. As I may need to log back into Fraza and kick them out of the server to test this. Um, but I'm hoping that won't be the case. Since it should be um, a fairly new server. And once again, I am given fire. Please don't be fire, please don't be fire, please don't be fire. Lightning, good. <laughs> I was starting to worry that I'd messed up and made it like always fire. Um, but this is lightning now. Okay. And so when I press the Z key, I should have lightning ball. Lightning style, lightning ball jutsu. So yeah, players who join will get a random element. It will set the element and uh, stuffs. It will give them um, an attack depending on their elements, and when they press the Z key, it will activate. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope my cold didn't get in the way of the video too much. Um, please comment if you have any trouble, but you shouldn't since the script works. So. If you copy the script word by word, you should be fine. Um, so yeah, uh, goodbye YouTube.